Environmental evaluation of concrete with carbon sequestration. Pavements are important part of transportation infrastructure. However, the construction, operation and maintenance of the roadway system are responsible for the substantial energy and resource consumption. Road networks in the Philippines play an important role in commerce and social movement of citizens as evidently shown from the various road networks being constructed in different parts of the country. With increasing effects of climate change, policy makers and engineers are continuously seeking ways to reduce the environmental impacts of road construction. Reducing the greenhouse gas emissions of pavements requires a complete understanding of how it impacts the natural environment. Concrete pavements emits greenhouse gases thought its life cycle, from the extraction of raw materials, to the construction process, continue to its operation, maintenance and waste management and recycling. Considering the high carbon dioxide emissions and environmental challenge, the cement industry continuously take action to reduce greenhouse gases emissions and solve global climate change. Some of the most common mitigation strategies used are increasing energy efficient practices, use of alternative fuels, low carbon biofuels, and clinker substitution or blended cement. And one emerging possible solution is the sequestration of carbon in cementitious material. And with the continuous growing population and uncontrolled extraction of raw materials for production for the benefits of humankind, environment is severely affected. Research and application concerning the use of environmentally friendly materials and technologies in road pavements have reached high relevance mainly due to the increasing public consciousness addressed to environmental protection and preservation. However, replacement of materials in the perspective of sustainability remains a question that needs to be addressed. This study aims to provide a comparative analysis of three ready mix concrete with different percentages of fly ash used as replacement of cement, conventional concrete mix and the mixture with Viagra as SCM for cement using life cycle assessment. Specifically, this study aims to quantify the greenhouse gas emissions from the mixtures used to compare if mixtures with carbon dioxide can produce significant less carbon footprints than the mixtures with fly ash and biature only, to recommend the optimum mixture for sustainable design. Carbon dioxide is one of the greenhouse gases contributed to climate variability of greenhouse effect. Cement industry accounts for about 5% of global carbon dioxide emission, contribute to CO2 through process known as calcination. It is one method of reducing the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere with the goal of reducing global climate change. Fly ash production has increased up to 900 million tons per year by 2008 and it is anticipated to increase up about 2,000 million tons in year 2020. Biature has the potential of reducing net greenhouse gas emissions by about 870 kg CO2 equivalent per ton dry feedstock, of which 62-66% are realized from carbon capture and storage by the biomass feedstock of the biature. Life cycle assessment is a method that considers the effect on the environment of different materials being used in construction. LCA is described in international standards, specifically ISO 14040 and ISO 14044, that prevents further negative impact on the environment. After simulation in the Simipro software, results obtained the amount of greenhouses gases in each design mixture. Design mixture from Marvel Asphalt and Ready Mix has the less amount of emissions with a total of 42,400 kg CO2 act while the largest amount of emissions is from the conventional mixture from DPWH that do not use fly ash in the concrete mixture. The production phase that contains the product assembly has the largest emissions that can be account mainly on the amount of cement in the mixture, while, in the construction and use phase, all mixtures have the same amount of emissions because of the same equipment assumed to be used in all mixtures. The use of fly ash can lower the carbon emissions to 107.783% from the conventional concrete design mixture the conclusion and recommendations the greenhouse gas particularly carbon dioxide was quantified and significantly shows that the largest amount of carbon dioxide emissions both with and without carbon dioxide is from the conventional mixture from the DPWH that uses cement only as binder mixtures with fly ash alone significantly decreased the amount of co2 emission compared to the conventional design mixture but with the fly ash and intrusion of the co2 results of the analysis showed less co2 emissions by 100.95 percent results of the total carbon emissions between mixture shows no significant difference
As to the optimum design mixture, the researchers recommended the use of fly ash in lowering the carbon emissions to 23% by weight of concrete. Results of the study, provided another proof on the effectiveness of fly ash as an alternative material for cement when sustainability is a major concern. The use of 22-23% fly ash can lower carbon dioxide emissions to 107.783% compared to mixture that have cement only. Carbon sequestration and the use of material like biochar to speed up the carbonation process can also be a remarkable sustainability strategy in the construction industry. Since materials for carbon sequestration are already introduced in different studies, knowledge dissemination will help people to become aware on the development of sustainable materials and how it will help in our environment.